So the woman that has been accused of locking Wendy Williams out of her Wells Fargo account, so Lori Schiller, is breaking her silence. Welcome back to the Kemp Fire Daily YouTube channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So before we get into what Lori Schiller is saying in this new interview, Wendy Williams. So the last time we, we spoke about Wendy Williams, we were talking about this article that said that she was experiencing strange behavior, showing up at a friend's part, part apartment, looking to party. Then we saw a recent photo of Wendy looking refreshed, looking well, meeting with her team. Looks like a podcast will be coming. As we've said countless times, Wendy Williams, according to reports, has just been out of a two-month stint in a wellness facility, a.k.a. rehabilitation, this is not what she needs to be doing. Allegedly, she is suffering from a major addiction issue and working it should not be her focus. Her focus should be on her sobriety. But as you know, in following this story, even before we got to Wendy Williams and her behavior out, out in public and what people are accusing uh, her of, and the end of her daytime talk show, we were talking about her being locked out of her Wells Fargo accounts. And we have been very critical of Wells Fargo for a, a good reason. Wells Fargo, we haven't stopped keeping our eyes on you because outside of Wendy Williams, you've been accused of a lot of things in recent years, okay? However, we told you about this story a while back and we said, well, based on what we've seen develop over time in the people that have been around Wendy Williams, maybe Wells Fargo for once, for once, did the right thing here by locking her accounts and sealing this case and assigning a financial advisor over her accounts. So there's a third party that handles all of her accounts. And according to this new article in this interview, Lori Schiller is still overseeing Wendy Williams accounts. So let's get into what page six is reporting in regards to this. So, and part of the reason why I'm reporting on this, because I like to be fair when it comes to reporting on the Wendy Williams situation, but also if there is a development, although it's not directly about Wendy, but it's about Lori and how social media, and we've talked about this before, you guys go to, not you guys, but people go too far, okay? Lori Schiller says that she's had to hire armed security armed security because of the eyes that are on this case. So this is what page six is reporting. They said Wendy Williams financial advisor claims that she's quote, a prisoner in her own home. And she's been forced to hire armed security to protect her family from death threats. So Lori Schiller exclusively told page six, and this is almost a week ago. No one told me about this till today. Since the former daytime talk show host publicly claimed she can the Wells Fargo advisor, she's been through, quote, hell. Do you think that Lori Schiller is going to try and sue Wendy? She continues. She says this. I have 24-hour armed police officers outside my house kind of vetting everyone that comes to my front door. It's starting to affect my life. I'm a prisoner in my home, adding that her continued work on the account has been putting her family, quote, at risk. I know what you all are saying, then don't work on the account. I don't know if it's that simple. She says, I'm kind of living in my own personal hell here. Sheila tells page six that despite Williams claims, she was never fired and she is still the lead advisor on the account amid the talk show host lawsuit against the bank. She says that she's been having all positive conversations with Williams, with whom she was very close with, according to her, for 12 years. Despite the public lashing from the 58-year-old Williams following Wells Fargo's February claims that she needs a guardian, Schiller says that she's been lauded internally by Wells Fargo for the work she's done to protect Williams from those who mean her financial harm. But the bank won't publicly support her. You may recall this all started allegedly because at the time, Kevin Williams Jr., Kevin Jr., wanted money to purchase a condo in Florida. This is what they said triggered 
this whole guardianship and their eyes and locking of the accounts. So they continue. She says, all I've, I've done was follow the law to the T. And I've been praised by Wells Fargo for all of my efforts, Schiller says, noting that the bank is footing the bill for home, her home security. I've given them ample time and come to my defense and make a statement. And for some reason, they are putting it to the side. So she's now slamming Wells Fargo. This is why she's doing an interview. But she's still over the accounts. All right. Schiller and her attorney, Anthony Mango, who was also present during the phone conversation, said there is allegedly a gag order in place within the lawsuit, which since has been sealed. So they couldn't discuss specifics about the ongoing case. She did, however, note that Wells Fargo, not Schiller, pursued the guardianship over Williams because a, quote, pattern of behavior that made issues apparent. So she's trying to clear her name here. And she feels like she's, you know, especially because, you know, Wendy came out and said she had fired Lori. But since then, a lot of Wendy Williams' behavior has made all of us say, well, maybe they were doing what they were supposed to be doing to protect Wendy Williams and her money. So Lori says, Wells Fargo took the lead. I just don't think people understand the complexity of complexities of what's going on behind the scenes. This is why I thought it's important to talk about this story because, you know, it's very easy for all of us, especially bloggers, media personalities, news outlets to report one particular side that benefits us and that causes clicks and likes and all of that. But no, I like to know what we're talking about. And I understand, and I love when you guys are in the comments that our former bankers are currently in the banking system, comment and say, well, it's not that simple. There's this, there's that. And some of you had been saying this from the beginning. But with that all being said, I didn't want to assume then either. Well, according to Lori, this is according to Lori, she says there it's far more complex than that. She says it's a really bad time for guardianships, alluding to the Britney Spears' recent freedom from her own conservatorship. Schiller explains that the guardian who was appointed shortly after Wells Fargo's initial filing, serves as a conduit between Wells Fargo and Wendy Williams. The Wendy Williams experienced author has access to her money that is meant to support her livelihood, but the Guardian will object to a request that appears to be for someone exerting undue influence over Williams. All right, so Wendy is able to access her money, just probably not oh my goodness, I want to go buy a car kind of money. She says, while we are unable to discuss employee matters, the financial well-being of our clients is at the heart of everything that we do, according to a spokesperson for Wells Fargo. And this is what they said to page six. Wendy Williams' former attorney, LaShawn Thomas, told page six in May that the shock jock was, quote, not in agreement with the guardianship. Wendy has been very clear that she does not want a financial guardian to tell her what she can and cannot do with her money. We also have to remember LaShawn Thomas apparently also was the attorney for Wendy Williams' ex-husband. Thomas added that Williams feels that she is capable of hiring her own team who would work for her and not the court. So Lori Schiller goes on to say this in regards to um, her relationship with Wells Fargo. She says, I do not want to leave Wells Fargo. I want to make it work. I've given them 10 months of my life to come to my defense. They need to do the right thing. It's really more about my future career to grow my career from here to set the record straight. It's not fair that I'm the target of death threats. That's my uh, that my 11 year old daughter has to sleep in my bed out of fear. Rep for Williams didn't immediately return page six's request. Another reason why I felt it was necessary to do this video, because I think it's important because I know there are a lot of people that love and miss Wendy Williams. We need to also understand that there are real people involved. And if you're one of those people in the comments section or making these sort of death threats to Lori Schiller, understand that this is bigger than Lori Schiller. There's a lot. There's a lot that we don't know because it's related to Wendy Williams' personal health. And based on the actions that we've seen recently, it's very clear why Wells Fargo took the step that they took. Are they innocent in other ways? No, no. I mean, we will keep following those other stories. But it's very clear here that Wendy Williams is not allegedly in the right state to manage her own finances without other people trying to leech off of her. 
Guys, as always, I want to know your reaction to this story. Let's continue the positive, constructive conversation in the comment section. And as always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching.